he's fired too. All for Britney Spears. Going for that intro song? Comments, it's okay. They can see it. All right, let's do the intro song skis. The intro song skis. Capo the third for this one. people to the uh, Bear and Hair Show. This is our live edition. Man, um, it's so different going from YouTube. It is weird. It is weird. Anything, anything can happen. This is Anything Can Happen Tuesday. Anything Can Happen Tuesday. Anything Can Happen Tuesday. So, really excited about starting these videos. Um, for those who don't know, uh, I am Hair. This is Bear, also known as Justin and Cole. We are the Bear and Hair Show. We have a lot of fun doing reviews online. Uh, we kind of just started. Um, but we really would like for you guys to subscribe, and I hope by the end of this video, you'll be hooked enough. Hooked enough. Like to a do, fish. To do ski. Like a fish? Like a fish. I don't know if I want to be like a hooked fish. By, hooked by the mouth. That's yeah, that would be uncomfortable. That's uncomfortable. That'd be very uncomfortable. Well, let me do something first of all, and all of you, now I know my beard's not that big, but it used to be enormous. And it was he, because... He did have a nice beard. I'd say at least I, a year. I trimmed it because my wonderful wife didn't want to do the kissies. Oh, with, you got out of the, the kissies. With the facial hair. So, right after November, I shaved it off. And that's a fun story. I'll tell you And at time. that point, we'll it was just, funny. We'll just say, I had a little bit of a fat man temper tantrum. A temper tantrum. And it's funny, because at that point, I had more hair than you when you went with facial hair clean. You really did. Like, I, like, shaved And then I was like, I've got a one-off. And then, like, like, a three-year-old Two child. days later, you have more than me again. It was bad. It was bad. All right, so. Get them with those tips. Look. Get look, them with the tips. Here's the deal. I'm going to give you guys some tips, and we're going to do every single week. We're going to have a little segment where I give you guys some tips on how to grow some really good facial hair. And I'll give you tips. Now, there are natural ways to grow some facial hair, and we'll give you some of those natural ways um, as the weeks progress. Um, but starting out, I'm going to give you guys a really cool, um, a really cool, it's a, it's a liquid, lotion-y, gooey thing. Sounds appealing. But it's, it's going to really grow that thing. beard to an expectant length. I mean, we're talking Moses beard. You can tell it's worked on me. Alright, yeah, so this is called, um, let's see if I can read, this is called the Vinegar Nutritive Rinse Cleanser. Now, Ooh. don't be alarmed, it's Cleanser. not feminine, okay, it's meant for the men, but vinegar is fantastic for your face. Not only does it, is it great for your heart, but it's fantastic for your face. So let me read kind of a synopsis of what this does, and then you can take it, or you can leave it. And I know my boy, my boy Bear here. Uh, Cause he's bare faced. I'm bare. He's got. He's soon got, to be. Soon to be. <laughs> he's got some tips as well as to how to keep your face not hairy. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, basically, let me just read this. Uh, this does exactly what the name claims. The vinegar nutritive rinse cleanser removes any buildup from your face and follicles. I hate buildup on my face and follicles. I hate buildup. So annoying. By removing dirt, oil, buildup, and any other residue. It cleanses the scalp, leaving it fresh and clean for healthy hair growth. I need that. Follicles, also known as follicles, may become clogged from years of chemical buildup. I hate that too. Heat styling and even the weather. I don't heat style my facial hair. I'm just don't lie. Confess, you I'm not, not, lie. not even lying. I don't. Uh, but the weather has like it gets dry so easily. So this is gonna help, help with that. Does it help with food buildup in there? No, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, that's not. Right. This cleanser helps <laughs> retain the balance that the scalp needs to maintain its health. When your scalp is in optimal health, you will have the best chance for achieving healthy, vibrant, full hair. Vinegar has been used for centuries for hair and scalp care. Our vinegar nutritive rinse cleanser gently cleanses your scalp and hair uh, to leave the hair soft, shiny, and clean. It helps balance your scalp while it's while its nutritive ingredients help remove excessive debris. Okay, that's all I really need to read. But listen, that's I know it mentioned in there scalp. Sounds confusing. Okay, now I'm sitting here thinking to myself, wait, the scalp is on hair. But really, after a while of having facial hair and your, your face literally becomes pale and weird feeling, kind of like your scalp. So if you've ever, if you've ever shaved 
uh, your head clean and had it shaved for a while, it again begins to have the same feel as your facial skin. It's the scalp is just it's, it's a term used for when hair goes over this specific skin. Sounds fantastic. So, Sounds like I, I can't tell you how many times my, I've, I've peeled, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've peeled skin oh. out of my facial hair because it's so dry. Not just because of the weather, but because, I mean, I just, I wouldn't say, you know, use a conditioner or nothing. I mean, we're not, yeah, we're not going to peel skin, you know. But it, but may, the same, it, it may help, it may help using this nutritive, uh, uh, this this nutritive cleanser so I like it. that's kind of a good thing to use take it or leave it uh, bear you have some advice as to how to keep your face squeaky clean buy a razor two dollars shaving cream and aftershave two dollars six dollars to look like this for you to look like this take your pick shave is always better it is by saying, hey, to look like that. Oh, that's it's funny. Free. That's funny. You want to hit him with the next project? Well, here's what we're going to do, this guys. Is exciting. So, here's every week we're also going to do uh, one of these um, little challenges, okay? So, Bear and myself were thinking this week what was a really fun, exciting, interesting, stupid thing to do? And so, we thought for about two seconds and came up with the idea. It doesn't take us long to think of stupid things to do. <laughs> came up with the idea to carve soap. So we have printed out... What are we going to carve? Here? We have printed out a beautiful picture of our President Donald Trump elect, and we are going to carve this man's beautiful face at a la toupee into <laughs> the uh, bar of soap. And so we're going to give each other seven minutes to try and do this, and at the end of seven minutes, you guys get to view it and decide who wins. And it really, I'd really like for you guys to comment on here. I'd like for you guys to vote for me. Tell me, <laughs> yeah, tell me I won because obviously. What will you be using? Uh, we'll Here's be using your weapon of choice. my weapon of choice. Well, this thing looks bad, but it's just a, it's just a, it's just a little whittling knife, a little carving knife. This is literally a. Um, so I'm gonna put this down here so I got a good view. This, this is, is literally a multi-tool, and he's got a little pocket knife, and we're gonna rock this. Let's do it. All right, so how long do we have? Five minutes? We got five minutes and then two Check minutes the to review. Check the time. Where's the time? All right, it's 610 if right I can now. Do this. Let's see Six. if I can do this without killing Six. calls. So get it in your hands. 615 is where we have to clock out. Are you guys ready? So do you have to – are we going to carve the whole thing into his face? See, I don't know. Or can, I, we, I, I can we carve his face into – the bar of soap. I'm thinking. I'm thinking for this, y you have to make it a three dimensional. Object. Three dimensional. Yeah, I think that would be that'd be pretty neat. All right. If you can execute it well. So we're gonna do this in three. Six fifteen. Two. One go. All right. Don't look at mine. Uh, All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's gonna be the hair, dude. It's the hair. No, the hair's gonna be the easiest part. I know it's gonna look so good though. Just FYI, guys. I. This is gonna make such. This is gonna. This is gonna be so awesome. awesome. We're gonna have so much fun cleaning this up. Uh, oh man, I'd like to give a shout out to Irish Spring. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Irish Spring. It smells great while we're doing it. For giving us a fantastic idea. Oh man, I'm actually enjoying this. In a five minute. I'd really love for you guys to tell us or show us pictures of whittling projects you have done with soap. That'd be nice. And if you have not done a whittling project I understand. with soap, then, uh, you know, doom on you and you need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> need to do you one. Need to do some. It's, it's actually really one. fun. It's so much fun. I'm having a great time. Right now, I mean, I'm saying my hair is already on the path. Dang to, it, man! On the path to delicious. You had to show me to get me jealous. I had to show you. I well, you didn't it. have to look. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's it's true. Oh um, man, you got nice progress. By the way, by the way, while we're doing this, I'd like to give a shout out to our product review uh, page on YouTube. YouTube, where we take Hasbro game pens and we review them. them. And uh, we would really like to get some ideas from you guys on different things we can review. And um, if after you watch them, you'll realize that we're the only people that need to be reviewing things. Because I'm a klutz. I'll just say that. Oh, it's, it, yes. I'm slightly, I'm slightly klutzy. Crap, so. I can't see his face. Why can't you see his face? Because it's with covered soap. with toupee. It's covered with toupee. <laughs> the toupee. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Dude, man. Yeah, of course I don't know you can't see. I'm rocking and rolling right now. Just give us a second. I'm not showing mine yet. Well, that's because it's gonna be beautiful, man. It's beautiful. 
Beautiful man. You're a beautiful man. I thought this would be better than Dang it. My, my, it's all covered. Uh, I think I got his hair. I think, do you think I could get his teeth as white as, on, the uh, as, as the bar of soap? Or like, do you think I could get the bar of soap as white as his teeth? Maybe I should say. I, I doubt it, man. He's got some sparklers. He's got some sparklers. He's got some sparklers. I'm trying different approaches now, you know? You do something long enough and you'll figure out a better way. Oh, yeah, Justin. You liking that? Get that crazy old man. See if I can cut you. These eyes are kind of looking a little... A little nice. I'm really excited about these eyes. You should be. He's got some elf ears, dude. He's got some. The elf ears? He does. He's got some. Ear ski? I'm just going for like a quick, you know, rough. Oh, don't. Don't even. Don't That's even. my excuse, man. Don't even give me your excuses. I'm going for a quick, rough, little, little cutout. It's going to be more like a Mr. Potato Trump. Mr. Potato <laughs> Trump. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's I bet you someone would buy that figure. Dude. I'm doing a bust. What do you mean? We'll do a full-on bust of Donald Trump. Oh, dude, you're getting the face? Get the face. You said it's got to be 3D, dog. No, it, it totally is. All right, so here's the ear. Get that ear in there. So what time we got? Man, I don't even know. I think it's, it's been three minutes. I don't even know what mine's looking like at this point. I'm going to say three minutes. Mine kind of looks like an elf. But I think I think it's inevitable when you're trying to carve Donald Trump out of anything. He's gonna turn into an elf. He's gonna turn into an elf. Elf, 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 elf. Gosh, I'm so disappointed in myself. Why? Don't be disappointed. Three you're minutes in, dude. You're doing fantastic. Is is you know my guy's mouth looks like a spider web right now. I'm just I wonder if I can put some back together and try again. Oh man, that is the creepiest Donald Trump mouth I think I've ever seen. That is so good. <laughs> Oh, speaking of. Like, that'd be awesome if I could put Angelina Jolie lips on Donald Trump. That'd be amazing. That would look good. It would look good. Make him look a little bit better. Mm. All right, here we go. I'm really confident. My Donald Trump is starting to look like Johnny Bravo. I'm not going to lie. For any of those who don't know who Johnny Bravo is, I'm going to need you to turn this screen off right now. Dude, mine totally looks like a, like a, a pangolin. <laughs> 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 He's got the tie. <laughs> I think you might win, man. Dude, there's no way. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Oh, look at the little tie edition. Oh. Oh no, she's falling apart. She? Yeah, it, it turned into a girl. Whoa, that escalated. I don't know how. Oh, wait, I gotta put her back together. All right, so we've got we got a minute. We got one minute to accomplish. We got one minute to accomplish. I really need to find a way to embed these this tie here. I'm just saying, I think I might get a call from Donald Trump about this one. Yeah. I mean, he's going to be pretty stoked. I'm just saying. He might even ask me to be in his cabinet. Dude, you know, great place to be. A great, fantastic place to be. All right. So I, I, I wish I could oh. really, I wish I could really capture the spray tan he's got going on in the I know, it's going to be hard. With <laughs> he does have a killer spray tan. It's baller, it? man. I don't even think 16-year-old girls could rock it the way he rocks it. He does rock that. With those sparkly white teeth. The sparkly white teeth. Heck yeah. Sparkle teeth. All right, I'm going to say we got 30 seconds. Why did I? 30 see. seconds. I need to fix the brows, man. Can't. Dude, my guy looks like he's got some, some ball and studs in his ears, man. 10, 9, 8, 7. Four, three, two, oh, one. Put it down. All right, so here's. <laughs> All right, let's let's show the viewers what we got here. Show them on your show camera, the then I'll show them on mine. All right, all right. Here is. Uh, you can't really see my it. Donald Trump. Is he a little washed out? I think this was supposed to be Donald Trump. You know, we'll take pictures of these and put them on YouTube. Can you see that? I feel like I mine, feel like that's a hard one to see. Mine kinda. All right, let's put them next to each other now. Oh man, All yours right. just got more definition than mine does. Oh, oh man, no. it's hard to see. Here, let's show this one first. Oh man, that one's really good. Show, you can show, see that. You're side by side. Can we do that? Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Do we see that? Dude, mine looks so whacked out. Let me think. Mine looks baller sauce. All right, let's put it next okay. to yours. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, here we go. Let's put it right here. Oh yeah, put it back just a little bit. The other way. My bad. I'm like pushing you off screen. A little closer. 
I feel like you can't really see. We're gonna play with these like toys. Yeah. All right, Donald Trump is gonna be a changing day in your life. All right, we need to like put these up as little, little soups. Little soupy mini soups. All right, let me try and get all this soap off the stage. Man. All right. Well, oh, we should have gotten a, like a um, little towel. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, but, mine actually stands up though. Dude, look at. Oh man. Yeah. I, I can make mine. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at him. He looks like he's got a scarf on. He Your guy looks like he's mad at mine. He, he I'm mad at yours. Yours is fantastic. Dude, well, I mean, I'd say if we were going as Donald Trump, you put your pants on that. So I want you guys, I want you guys to vote on that. Let us know what you think about Donald Trump. Let us know if you think it's fantastic. Don't let us know what you think about Donald Trump. Let, no, 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 let him know. Let, 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 me, let us know what you think of my Donald Trump. And let me know what you think of my Donald Trump. Hey, my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're gonna do next, okay? We're gonna kinda change uh, change gears on you a little bit. Um, we really enjoy music. Um, for those of you who don't know, obviously you don't know, we're just two two little cougars that decided to have the Baron Hair Show. We decided to do a show. Um, we're both actually musicians. Um, Cole is, I mean, uh, Bear. Actually, hey, yeah, what was that? Bear. Bear. Uh, actually, he has his own uh, recording studio at his house and does a fantastic job. Uh, he's gonna be a fantastic producer one day. Me, yeah. me, I fantastic I, at anything. I no, I try and play guitar and I try and sing and uh, whatever God allows me to do. No, dude, I it do. works. I love it me works. some. I love me some Jesus. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna play a song for you guys, something we've been working on. And what I want to do every week is maybe um, throw some music out there. But what we also want is once a month, we want for you guys, if you're comfortable enough with it, we want you guys to send your music in to us. I really would love, we're just small time musicians, we don't make anything, we don't go out and do a bunch of gigs, but we would love to hear those of you who do. We would love yeah, to hear, so cool. we would love to hear your artistry, we would love to hear your talent, the, the, the talent that God has given you to be able to, um, you know, just worship him through his music, whether, I mean, whether, whether you play Christian music or not, it doesn't matter. Um, I personally, I write a lot of worship songs and I love playing um, in our uh, church worship uh, worship band and student ministry. In fact, it's we're in the, we're in my church right now, so uh, we're recording from there. But I want you guys to send us some stuff. I want you guys to send us uh, what you guys uh, think, and also I want to hear your song so we can play it. I'd love to play it live uh, yeah, on one of our shows. Cool. So once a month, we're gonna play one of y'all songs live. And so I really want you guys to send that in. You can send that into the Baron Hair Show uh, at gmail.com. And um, we can we can take it from there. But right now we want to play for you guys a song that uh, Bear wrote uh, a few weeks ago. It's called "Shimmy My Bones." Let's do it. Oh 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 oh. Oh sorry. <laughs> it's, like, it's cool, man. We Left can't cut hanging. that though. Can't cut that. You're right. Can't you, cut you, that. You live. Da, na, na, na. Oh man, I'm glad. glad. You got your. Where's your? My capo. Oh, you got the capo. Capo ski. Maybe you should tune up. Yeah, that's a good idea first. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, actually, you tune with me.
We, uh, we actually have a recording of that coming out pretty soon. Uh, we just uh, got to take the time to get her done. So uh, I hope you guys appreciated that. Uh, we're going to go on to our next segment. Now, just like every, every show, we're going to have a segment where we're talking about beards and we're talking about uh, doing some sort of crazy thing. Uh, we're going to play a song. But every single show, we're going to have an episode of Do It Yourself DIY in the shop right here. Now, a lot of you guys may know me. Some of you guys uh, from Bear's side may not know who I am. Uh, I'm not popular. I'm not famous. That's just in the I'm streets. Not, I'm, not, I'm not famous, but I am a woodworker. Yeah. I, have, uh, I have my own uh, shop at my house, and I do make furniture. Uh, so tonight, we're going to do something really simple. Uh, a lot of you guys may think that this is, you know, a little old school, a little passe. Uh, but I really like them. I've got one of these hanging up in my house. I'm going to show you in five minutes how to make a wine rack out of a pallet. But okay. how would you make a wine rack? I didn't in say five it would minutes. I didn't say it would take me five minutes. I said I would show you in five <laughs> true, minutes. True, true. So so what I'm gonna start out with is I'm gonna show you what this looks like, okay? So I'm gonna come back here. Let me grab this for a second. Alright. Can you guys see this? I'm sure thing it's possible. Yeah. Maybe uh, go up a little bit. Do you want to slide up? Yeah slide up a little bit. We'll slide back down. Alright. So let me show you guys a little something. No, 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 I'm sorry, tilt the screen back so they can see. Oh, I see. Yeah, make us, that's make there we go, there we go. All right, so uh, this right here is basically the, the most of a wine rack already done. It's so simple. What you take is a full pallet, and the pallet's got to have these little uh, forklift notches in them on either side. And what you'll do is you'll go two, um, you'll go two pieces in, two slats in, and then you just take a recip saw. I forgot to bring my recip saw to make show you what that looks like. You take a reciprocating saw and you'll just cut that clean right here. And this is what you're left with. You really are. You're left just like this. So what you'll do is then what you're left with down here is this piece. Let me come a little closer to show you. This piece right here is going to be um, uh, level with this. It won't be up about three quarters of an inch like it is right now. So what you got to do is you got to take either a, a hammer and a pry bar or what I have, and obviously not everyone has access to the tools I have, but what I do is I'll take this right here. This is your Ryobi angle grinder, and you, uh, you, can, you can buy the store for about $60, $75, and this thing is genius. So what this is good for is cutting those nails that are in here. So you'll take that up here, and you just start cutting along the edges here. I'm out of the picture right now. You start cutting this along the edges right here, just like that. You start cutting it along the edges to get the nails out. And you'll do that on both sides. And then you'll do that in the middle. You'll probably have to use a hammer to get it all out. And you'll bring it up about three quarters of an inch. So the reason we do that is because you got to put the rack on it. Okay, so you see it's about three quarters of an inch up right there. So here's what we're going to do. All right, so all that's already been done. And it'd probably take you about 10, 20 minutes to do. It doesn't take very long at all. Very simple process. The, uh, the uh, pallet does most of the work for you. But then, you'll take a regular piece of wood. Now, let me take that one. In fact, do you wanna, you wanna do this with me? Let's do it together. This is yours, that's yours right over there. This one? Yeah, I'm gonna take this one because it's nicer and, and I love you. Thank you, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> You're always thinking of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so, so what I did, behind. yeah, you can do it right behind me. You can show them how easy it is because because uh, I don't know anything bear, about anything. Bear does not play with tools. He is not a woodworker. He is a sound engineer. I think, and I, already, I, think I already figured it out. Yeah, no. Yeah, um, no. All right, so I just took a regular piece of wood, and I took a jigsaw. Let me do that jigsaw right there. Like a puzzle? Yep. No. Perfect. This Ryobi jigsaw right here, okay? It's got a cool light on it, okay? So what I did was I just lined up. I lined up where I wanted my holes to be. And uh, you kind of have to measure in between these two slats. Now I measured 18 inches. So I took 18 inches, I found the middle, which was nine. I measured a half inch on both sides of that. Um, and then I measured four inches from that and then an inch over down. So you can measure just like that and uh, get what you need to do. And then you take the jigsaw and you'll do it at a, at a slight angle. You can kind of see this real close. I did it at a slight angle and it gave you this little groove right here. So what happens is, oh, I'm sorry, right here, right here, your, um, let me close that real quick, the, um, the wine rack, or the uh, wine bottles, or the wine glasses, they're going to slide up in here, 
they're going to slide right in here, and you want that, that uh, <coughs> tail lip at the bottom of your wine glass to hold. So that's why you want to do it at a slight angle so it doesn't slip out or get stuck. So here's the easy part, okay? You did that, no problem, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it up here. So let's move some of these uh, tools out of the you way. Tell them you have to move our Donald Trump move so far. Move our Donald Trump so far. I'm sorry. Dang. Just need to get the uh, best, the best view here. All right. So I'm literally just going to lay this thing back, okay? And uh, for those that have nails, like little little nails, you can totally do this. Uh, you can use Brad nails. Uh, but what I have is a Brad nailer, so it's going to do all the work for me. And that's awesome. And once I do it, you can do it, and I'll show you and see just how easy it is. So I line this up. Okay, I line this up at the bottom here. All right, first things I'm going to do, I'm going to nail one right into the bottom of this main, this main board right here. That simple. All right, and these are two inch brads. This sucker ain't going nowhere. Okay, and then you can line that back up. Shoot that. In. A couple of them is probably all you're going to need. So you want to do the other side. Come over here, line that up. Ooh. And so when you're done, you have literally made yourself a wine rack in no time. See that? So you can literally just take this, hang it right on the wall, screw it into your studs right on the wall, and you have yourself a wine rack. It's already there. It's got the shelf right there. You can put your wine, you can put your wine glasses right in there. No problem. So I want you to show, I, can do I want it. you to show these awesome people. How easy it is. So you got yours already. Flip her right on in there. Yep, flip her in there. Here's this. Where's your piece? Dude. Oh, oh there it is right there. <laughs> I thought I already lost Check this out. Check this out. What you're gonna do? Yep, just like that. You see that guy. Right, so you wanna you wanna make sure you wanna make sure it's nice and nice and level. I think you to take the top and the bottom. There you go, just like that. Yeah, check this out, check this out. Oh! Oh man, <laughs> you hit a nail. You, look, look, you hit a nail. So you gotta you gotta be you gotta be watchful. You gotta be watchful of nails. Watchful guy. Watchful of nails uh, in the pallet wood. Oh, so I can't. Okay. I you can't, can't hit a nail inside the pallet wood. Dang right? man. So hey, you I gotta learned do, something. Yep. You gotta do. You gotta go where you see no nail holes. There. I see. I see. I can. And then, all right, watch out. Do it. There you go. There you go. Now go above that. Above. I would do I right in the middle right there. there. Yeah. Do it. Now I'm saying no. It's awesome. You got it. Boom. So you got it. You got the, side, the middle. Now you want to do the sides. Boom. You can do the top there. Do the top. Top of that one. Click on that. Boom. And you'll come over here and do the same thing. Dude, I'm about to have a completed rock. Check rock this out. Rock. Check this out. My boy Bear over here oh. is about to rock at three, two, one. Oh. Three, two, one, dude. He's got he's got a wine rack that he made five minutes. That was literally five minutes. So easy. Now I brought, I brought this right here. This is a sander. All right. Oh yeah. Let's drop it all out of here. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get all over. It's gonna there. get all over. Okay. So this is a sander here. You put sandpaper at the bottom, and you can make that real nice and uh, nice and smooth, so you don't give anyone splinters. But I mean, it's done. That's a wine rack. All right, so that's, that's a win. That's a win rack. That's a right. win rack. So that was for our DIY section. All right, that was a whole lot of fun. I hope you enjoy that. We'll be doing that every single week. Uh, next week, I don't even know what are we doing next week. I have no idea. We're gonna prep. Feel like next week we might be making a coffee. We're doing a coffee doing taste the, test. No, 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 no. We're doing oh, the. Oh <laughs> man. We're doing the coffee cup holder for the DIY section. Oh. So we're actually going to make, make holders. We'll have everything all ready for you. It just takes a small pallet, and then we'll drill in the hooks. You'll be good to go. I want to make I want to make a, uh, no. a table for no. your neck so you can eat anywhere. Walking down and, the street. And I'm, and I'm the fat. Dude, like, it's genius, man. <laughs> we, can, we can market That's that. Awesome. Well, here, I want to read something for you guys. Uh, every week we're going to uh, we're gonna do something like this uh, we're gonna do we're talking about just weird crap weird crap that's what we're gonna call the section weird crap so today we're gonna talk weird about crap the word crap not crack because that's illegal. weird crack all right so today I'm gonna talk about six of the most ridiculous stunts pastors have ever pulled to get people to church now I work in a church <laughs> um, 
My dad's a pastor. I've been a PK my entire life. I've seen some weird stuff go down in the church. But this, this is hilarious. Let me read this to you. Okay, check this out. So, um, gone are the days when a banner advertising a revival service was enough to get Americans excited about going to church. Pastor Lawrence Bishop II, that name, Pastor Lawrence Bishop II, not the first, no, of Solid Rock uh, Church in Monroe, Ohio, was willing to be bruised and trampled by a bull named Bone Crusher in order to spread the gospel. Bone Crusher? Look, look, I know the gospel's important. Whatever works? I know the gospel's important, but y'all... He took whatever works to a new level. Yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a man. All right, so uh, they call him the cowboy pastor. Transformed his church into a bull ring on a recent Wednesday night. ABC reports, this dude like made the news. That's awesome. Bishop managed to hold on to the raging bull for about three seconds before being bucked to the ground. When he climbed onto the stage, and then he climbed on the stage and gave a sermon. That's awesome. All right, so after his wild ride, at least 30, 300 new believers responded to Bishop's altar call. That, that scares me. <laughs> that is kind of scary. Like, like you, you ride a bull, you get up, you give the gospel, and suddenly, you know, uh, two times the size if of your church. If he can do that. That's, I mean, that's interesting. Um, all right, so this one is the gun giveaway. In an effort to oh, reach no, unchurched. Oh, no, this sounds so unchur- this, look, this sounds like Barrow County is what this sounds like. In an effort to reach unchurched rednecks, in fact, I think I've heard of it. Is, it, is that in there? Unchurched rednecks. <laughs> so it says the, the Kentucky Baptist Convention hosted Second Amendment celebration. <laughs> Second Amendment celebration. That's awesome. So during which uh, churches served steak and gave away guns as door prizes. Chuck McAllister, a former pastor and traveling evangelist who presented or presided over the event called his strategy affinity evangelism because it used a common interest to attract potential converts and turn them into a community. Wow. It this says, guy's a dreamer. It says it brought more than 1,500 men to make professions of faith. I don't know how... I feel like you came for the guns. I feel like I feel like he came for the guns to lead for the Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Anybody? No? Came for the guns? Lead for the Jesus. Jesus. All right. Uh, this next one's called The Fight. Sounds like the fight. Sounds like what I grew up with. Let's hear it. <laughs> Love you, Daddy. Um, there are hundreds of churches across the country that are incorporating MMA. Oh, hoo, hoo. some churches offer fight viewings, while others host bloody MMA battles on the church property. Even though Jesus instructed his disciples to turn the other cheek rather than use violence, some pastors took the mythical fighting prowess of biblical leaders like David and Samson. Uh, as examples. Uh, not digging it. Not digging it. Uh, the Motorcycle Club. In 1972, a small town pastor named Herb Shreve bought his son a motorcycle. What was his name? Herb Shreve. Herb Shreve. Herb Shreve. Herb Shreve. Herb Shreve. Bought his son a motorcycle in an attempt to bridge a growing gap between father and son. It worked. Two years later, Shreve attended his first motorcycle rally and saw thousands of people as he felt as he felt needed to hear the gospel. So he formed the Christian Motorcyclist Association, now with as many as 1,200 chapters around the U.S., not just members, chapters. That's pretty cool. Wow. I'll be honest. I don't ride steel horses. That's more chapters than I can pretty, write. That, that's pretty cool. Sick. <laughs> High school education. Uh, I love the, it. The Furry Friends... Pastor Ed Young of North Texas Fellowship Church decided in 2012 to get a little creative with his Easter sermon. He used a real lion and a real lamb as props to demonstrate the message that Jesus is both the lion of God, or the lion of the tribe of Judah, and the lamb of God. The stunt certainly captured his congregation's attention, but Young was criticized by members of the local Humane Society. Mm Mm-hmm. He used a real, a real lion, unless it was like a cub, because that's kind of adorable. A real, a, a human How lion. How did you get in trouble for a human society by getting just a lion? Unless he made the, like, I eat mean, it. <laughs> well, that would be quite natural. All right, but then uh, I can see you getting in trouble. Action movie move. During a ser- sermon series on doing what others say is impossible, Pastor Troy Grambling of Florida's p- uh, potential church. 
I teamed up with stuntman Mike Buse, who better who is better known by the stage name Mr. Dizzy, for legitimately explosive illustration. As Grambling cheer, as Grambling's cheering congregation looked on, the pastor sat in a car and was blown up, and emerged unscathed. That is awesome. That's I want it. it. I want to do that. I want to do that. That is so cool. I don't, well, I, the magician never reveals his secrets. <laughs> never reveals his secrets. That is sick. Oh, Dude, if so I cool. saw that, I'd be like, I'm never messing with this guy. He just, like, I want to know, like, the actual car, like, exploded and, like, and he like, just walked out. just it. like, what it is. See, that, that was nothing, dude. That's pretty you cool. should have saw me last week. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you guys some info, and then we're going to go ahead and close her down. Um, don't forget to watch our uh, game pen reviews. Those are on Which is YouTube. just one segment. I mean, that's, you know, we've it's, got yeah, many. Yeah, we've got many things we're going to be doing, uh, but we just started doing these game pen reviews. We're going to start doing other different kinds of reviews and whatnot, but we just want you guys to be in the know about really nerdy things. I just, I mean, yeah. it's real. It's nerdy true. is awesome. Okay? Um, it's, 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 slogan. Nerdy is awesome. Yeah. Very that's nice. probably already a slogan. It is now. Yeah, it, it is now. Okay, so uh, one thing I want you guys to know, we're going to be doing some giveaways, okay? So what I want you to do is want you, I want you to send us an email. Email. Subscribe to our uh, you, now, you Now channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I want you to send us an email saying, I want a giveaway. We're going to be giving away. Say it just like that. I, I want a giveaway. giveaway. Okay, we're going to be giving away a game pen. Should I tell them which one it is? No, because no. we haven't reviewed it yet. You're going to be blown away. It's awesome. Oh, don't be blown away by the like granddaddy game pen at the end. It's going to rock your That's world. like a megalodon. But check this out. So we're going to be giving away a game pen. But not only that, I want you guys to send us a uh, email telling us we rock, um, uh, subbing on uh, you now, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and all that. And these two wine racks that we just made tonight, we're going to send them to you completely free. We need you, you, and like we need you, said, you to send us an email. That's the bear and hair show at gmail.com. Shoot us an email. Subscribe to our page. Tell us you like us. At this tell point, us you hate us. A really fat tell thing. us we're ugly. Tell me I'm fat and hairy and he's skinny and pretty. That's fine. Whatever. Just tell us whatever you want, but we're going to be choosing three of you guys. One of y'all is going to get a game pen, and game the other pen? two are going to get wine, wine racks. racks. Which I don't know which is better. They're kind of cool. They're both really They're both cool. Really it depends on if you like So it. I want you guys to do that. Uh, we're going to have this video on YouTube tomorrow anyway. And we're going to announce those winners next Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching thank us you. tonight. Let's do that outro music. And we are going to end this off the right way. The bear and hair way. Well, he is bear. Got hair. Together we're the bear and hair show. Now it's the awkward walk Good night. cameras to get him cut off. Because he's still alive. I don't know how. Finish? Finish.